Okay, before we go on with this particular tutorial, what I'd like you to do is print out the Pathfinder PDF and go through it and go through all the exercises from the Pathfinder so you can familiarize yourself with all the tools and go through it all um, and print it out. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some of the things that are practical from the Pathfinder. So to begin with, I'm going to uh, take off my stroke here and come here to my fill and make a brown fill. And this is very rudimentary. And I'll just make a pole like this. Okay? And now I'm going to take the pen tool and I will make a snake. Oops have to take off my fill there. And I will put on a stroke color. Oh, what color should a snake be? I'll make it green. Okay, there we go. Alright. And there we are. Okay, so there's my snake. And you can see this isn't very thick. So, what I'm going to do is go to the Stroke panel, and uh, here we go to Window and Stroke, and remember all the panels are in alphabetical order, and I'm going to make this very thick. There we go. And I'm going to change the cap on it to a rounded cap. That looks nicer. Okay. So, this is so easy now. I'm going to go to Object and Path and Outline Stroke. Ah, so now this is not a stroke anymore, but an object in that shape. Now, I will select both of these objects and go to the Divide in the Pathfinder. There we go. You can see this has divided this into sections where it intersected. See that? So because that is grouped, I am going to put this part of the snake behind. So I'll select this little object here and come and uh, I'll use my eyedropper. Let's see, where is the eyedropper? Oh, here it is. Okay. And I will just sample this. And you see it gives the illusion that this is behind it. Now this one will be in front, so that's fine. I will select this piece. Let's see, we need the group selection tool. And I will select that. And again, go to the eyedropper tool, sample this like that. Okay. So there's our snake going through. It's kind of rudimentary, but um, you get the idea. Now uh, you can use this for making the rings, um, the Olympic rings, for example. There we go. Um, let's see, we'll take the fill off of that and put a stroke on. Let's see, let's get our stroke panel up here. And we'll just like that. Okay. And we can go to Object and path and outline stroke 
And then we can overlap these. I'm just going to do three of these. Like this. And give them different colors. There we go. Oops. There we go. Have to have a fill there. All right. I'll give that their color. And this one, cyan. Here we go. So to now, to I'll select them, go to Divide, and then with the Group Selection tool, I will select this section here, and Sample, and make it bigger, like that, and Sample. This one here, and go with my eyedropper tool and sample that. And there you have it. They're intertwined. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we're going to stop now and then we're going to go on to the next tutorial. Bye.